Hello comrades, Commissar Bro here today with a game called Taste of Power. That's right. Uh, Taste of Power is a first attempt at a strategy game by a company called One Ocean. That's right. It's an interesting little mashup of a game made with the Unity engine, uh, essentially featuring kind of a a clash of cultures is the best way of putting it. Essentially, you've got European-esque knights and spearmen and swordsmen, etc., engaging in great grand combat with uh, the equivalent of like Chinese soldiers and uh, Asian counterparts, etc., etc. So, like, you'll see Chinese chariots, and uh, you'll see individuals that look kind of like samurai fighting with uh, chukonus, uh, engaging with chevaliers, etc. So, it's an interesting little experience to say the least. Now. Uh, for the sake of this particular video, I'm going to be honest with you. I have not played the game a whole lot, so this is pretty much going to be a learning experience with us. But here you can kind of see the different units. I like that, actually. See, again, it, you kind of the, the, the two uh, factions that are currently in the game are Atlantis and the Undersky. Undersky being kind of a mix-up of, like, again, Japanese. As you see here, this looks like an Ashigaru uh, with... Chinese soldier of the Han Dynasty is almost what I would peg this fella as. I'm not sure what he is. <laughs> but they look cool. That's the I think the ultimately that's kind of the good part, right? Is like the units actually look pretty dope. Uh, I enjoy that. I enjoy that a lot. So the strategy game itself features a very unique style of gameplay. Um Yeah, this are the analog of the Welsh shooters of Britain, armed with longbows and swords. And then Trooper is a heavy infantry. He is an analog of the Druzenik of Russia, an arm with a sword and a massive shield, due to which it is effective against shooters. Yes, yes, it is indeed. Oh, look at this fellow. He's got a gun. Hello. This is a hell of a uh, mashup. And then again, these these guys look like Strelkies, just without the guns. But uh, anyway... And these are kind of yeah, like Spanish conquistadors. Interesting. It's just such an interesting little mashup. But anyway, so yeah, this, basically this is going to be a learning experience as much as for me as it's going to be for you, I would imagine. Um, now, we could go into to a tutorial like a normal person, but instead we're going to bumble around like a fucking retard here uh, playing through against the AI. So we're gonna actually going to play as Atlantis. That's right. And I'm going to get completely stomped by the enemy AI, but that's perfectly okay. I don't mind. So starting out, we've got us a little city. Our unit menu is over here. We can sit here and build barrack, or well, with our barracks that's already been created in this particular city. We could create some archers. I'm going to do that, build me some ranges and uh, some of my little strelky guys called brigrations. And we're going to build some of those fellows as well. Um, so basically you have different settlements as you can see here. You can kind of build more buildings with those settlements. Uh, the tool tips aren't exactly useful right now. Again, this game is a very early, early alpha. Um, so it's nowhere near being done. Uh, but we can kind of mess around and build a house. Yeah, and it'll kind of place it automatically for you. I don't know if they have plans to actually make it where you can customize your cities as it were yet. But uh, we can see our little workers going out there to build that building. You go, boys. You go. Good, good fellas. Migration's good ready. All right, and we're going to click here. Do we want to build an engineer for it? No, we don't. We don't want to repair or destroy anything, but we do want to build a mill. So we're going to build that house. I actually, I enjoy games that actually have uh, a little build animation and whatnot. I like that. Simple stuff. It's the little details, guys, that makes games great. All right, so let's go over here while they're building that house. We're going to move and house completed. our army. At last, are. move out. Our rangers move and out. our strelkies moving in. Balls deep, no remorse. That's right. All right, what else do we want to build? Um, I guess we can really not build a whole bunch. Really, just houses and mills and forts. Do we have an engineering fort? Yes, we do. We have barracks as well. All right, good. So we've got two barracks, two engineering forts. This would be the engineering fort. So what unit can you build for me, sir? We can build me some cavalry. Wonderful. Build me some hawks worthy of Mordor. That's right. Ultimately, I think one of the big things about Atlanta, this game move, is the fact move, that it's meant out. to be pure on combat. Like, the economics aren't very Fun deep completed. in the game. It's, it's really just a focus on the combat itself. So, um, 
One thing that does bother me, though, starting out, is is that a... Well, no, no, I guess per building. No. Yeah, so that makes sense. I like that. Never mind. What I was going to say is I thought it was all in one single queue, but it's not. It's per building. Each building has a different build queue, which is good. I, I, that's Atlanta, good. I like that. move out. That is something I am perfectly for. And look at that little dude sitting there raking those... Uh, uh, Hawks wow. ready. You know, this makes me think kind of like Empire Earth. You know, that's a shame. It's a shame. Literally, no one has ever tried to make another game like Empire Earth. That's actually but land. Move out. Troopers, troopers, red. Go, liars, ready. Be careful. The AI is probably going to just going to crap ready. all over my day. Move out. We need to get some um, some explosives, some cannons, boys. Come on, build me some cannons worthy of Mordor. And there's our troops actually moving onward. Let's rotate the camera to get kind of a good view of them. Yeah, look at them go. All right, fellas. You get moving for the hood. What is this? What resource is this? Like money or something? Well, I'm probably wasting it. Knowing me, Atlantis I'm not ready. Rain, just rain. Atlantis um, ready. Again, I probably Move need out. to do a little Move bit out. more of my own research on how everything works in the game, money-wise, uh, resource-wise. Not, not enough commerce. Atlantis ready. Not enough commerce. Um, as my can literally freeze Move out. out. Go on, archers and cannon, spinning cannon. Not, 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 not enough commerce. Not enough commerce. Not enough commerce. Is that what that stands for? Nope, that is not what that stands for. Okay. Atlantis ready. No worries. We're gonna just move, move out. on over here. Good. Good. Nice. I really just want to get to combat. That's the main thing I want to show. Because again, the game is simplistic currently. Good. Liars. Uh, ready. State, so there's not a whole bunch you can really ready do. to discover. It's uh, more of simple stuff. I would like it if they would add naval combat as well. That'd be kind of fun. Like the water doesn't look too bad. Yeah, that's some nice looking water right there. Ooh, ooh, I'm underwater. Oh, hello. But it would be nice if they could uh, kind of add a little bit more on that. I would also recommend, if they're able to, to uh, do something about the edges. That might be kind of hard with the way they have this camera set up. It's not like it's a... Uh, Atlantis ready. Atlantis ready. It's set out like this, because, I mean, the camera has full range of movement and looks. It makes me think of black and white with how free the camera is, which is a good thing, actually. I like a free camera over Atlantis a ready. And it looks like our enemies already have a large army ready for combat. Unfortunately for them, I'm Atlant ready. As well. Move out. Stand firm, my soldiers. Atlant look at ready. Them. Look at your enemy. Spit in his eye, because more than likely he's going to try to touch you inappropriately with his filth. I want to show him that that is a no bueno, sir. No bueno at all. Go, lion. Ready, 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 ready to ready ready to discover. I'm gonna need you to take a couple Verdict shots. has submitted. Doop 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 doop. Yeah, that's right. Push that cannon, boys. Push that cannon. Oh, here they come. Here they come, boys. Atlantis ready. Feel Open our fire power. For maximum effect. Boom! <laughs> I love it. That was great. That was absolutely wonderful. A little cannon just like lobbing bombs. Atlantis ready. Feel Dude, our power. Those like Iko Ishi looking archer. As our, our arrows come over. This game really does give me extreme Empire Earth, which I absolutely love. Because uh, again, Empire Earth is my favorite of all time. Feel our power. power. Um, now, it could deal with a bit more depth, I think, even uh, on the, the resources side Atlant, of things. Move out. I think that's actually probably Atlant, what this game move is out. most is uh, a little bit Atlant, more ready. regarding that. But again, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. But it just Atlant, seem ready. Like there's a whole lot to do on that. Respect. Feel our power. I don't even power. know how to replenish that. I'm assuming that's gold. I don't even know how to get more of it. But <laughs> this is what I get for just rolling, you know, right into the game, not even Atlant, doing ready. tutorials like a freaking true YouTube game. Atlant, ready. That's right. Feel but our power. Atlant, ready. Get in there, boys. Yeah, our Strelki are good against these fellas. Oh no, our own cannons are killing us. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Atlant, ready. Atlant, feet. Let's move, move out. Up a bit. Oh god, they just rebuilt the entire army. See, they're building more men. They're like, you stupid bastards. Y'all are sitting here building that one army. That's all you got. We're going to keep going until power. the cows come home. Atlant, our archers ready. are going to open fire on the enemy. Take power. them down, boys. City Take are them under down. Feel our power. Coming in here and there. My candles are just kind of hanging out. 
Feel all move out. Uh, Feel no. our power. Oh, shoot. shoot archers. <laughs> Right in there, fight. Yeah, chop some dudes down. Oh, yeah, let's get in there. Do some work. Do some work for me. But land's ready. City are under attack. Feel our power. I mean, we're doing a little bit of work. We're good, actually doing good ready. for, like, per kill. Well, it has submitted. I mean, we're kind of winning, but... Atlantis ready. Oh, crap. No, we're not. They're attacking me over here. No, my kingdom. It burns. Such is life. One day you're on top of the game, you're the richest, you're the strongest, you're the best man around. And then the next day, you're failing and nothing. Administration and destroyed. Your friends and your family all hate you. And you run out of money. And your kingdom falls. So. But yeah, anyway, ready. so this is Taste of Power. Taking a look at the alpha. The city are under attack. Again, there's a lot of potential here. As far as it goes, Pills I can destroyed. already see Good this game being an ready. absolute blast. Assuming just a little bit more... Um, gets put into it. A bit more depth, for example. Uh, maybe a clearer UI, uh, more tooltips and stuff like that. Because maybe I'm doing something wrong, but like it doesn't seem like tooltips even seem to come up for me. Oh, do we need to collect taxes? Oh, that's pretty cool. I love it. I love it. I'm bumbling around and eventually figuring something out. Yeah, so let's actually get a tax collector in here and start making some money. And then, oh, see, there you go. You actually assign people. Like right now, I just have everybody on food. Okay, that makes sense. I dig it. I dig it. So yeah, this is Taste of Power. Again, uh, I could definitely see a little bit Pills more destroyed. going into it. And I could Good see it being an blast, given some time. Right now, it's a bit too simple to really do anything past what I just did, uh, battle-wise. I mean, it's cool to kind of watch them and just see them chug at each other and cut each other down. But there's only one map, and there's only a little bit here and there. So there's just, there's not a lot here yet. But I could see a lot of potential with a bit more work and a bit more money getting thrown towards it. I could definitely see this being a lot of fun. But anyway, this has been CB, and I'll see you next time.